Alright guys, welcome back to another MTG Arena news update. <laughs> Today um, we'll be talking about the state of the game for Arena um, on August and it's about the Ambon Cat Remastered which is you know it's pretty it's quite a big deal actually for Arena because 300 over cards will be pumped into Arena and you know the historic format will be starting to go crazy you know right now actually <coughs> the historic format is already pretty tough you know there's a lot of special rules popping here and there and you know the goblins rule especially it's really crazy it's like you know turn 3 with the script pr prospector they could just end the games you know doing their their stuff bringing out the muxes and then haste the goblin in so it's pretty annoying now and there's a lot of cards in historic you know for mtg so when more cards are pumping in you could see a lot of brews here and there popping up out of nowhere you know because most of the player will be used to the standard format but not really the historic um unless you are player that you are a player that you know you've played mtg for quite a while and you're into this game for quite a while if not the historic format will be quite um how do you how do you call it like um a bit unknown to you you know that's but you know the historic format is really really um another realm compared to standard there's a lot of powerful cards and stuff going on around so that's one thing all right let us um, scroll down this article oh by the way this article is by mtg arena zone mtga zone so check it out if you know you're interest interested to read up stuff about um anything mtg arena um related i've um <coughs> i've came i've come to this website a lot of time you know to check up the news and stuff because it's popping up in my news feed as well you know so and I kind of like the contents that they're showing there, like decks, um, introduction, you know, interesting deck brews, um, strategies for events, and etc. Anything, and basically, they will put it up. So yeah. Um. By the way, I'm not paid. You know, this this is not like a sponsor or anything by them. It's just my personal, you know, personal video about them. So okay, let us see like what is up. Okay. Uh, although I, I would like to try to make this um, like you know more professional but <coughs> it's kind of hard to maybe articulate that well or that fluently but I'll try my best okay okay let, let's let's have some read so MTG arenas monthly update is coming on Thursday August 13 2020 here is the summary of today's post and the roundup of what's to come in the upcoming patch as well as features in development. So yep, like I said, um, introduction of Among Care Remastered to the historic card pool will be the main focus and then there will be 338 cards from Among Care and Hour of Devastation sets accompanied by booster packs and limited events. And you know the small preview will, st will start on August 10 which is like 3 days from uh, where I'm at now <coughs> so another thing is standard rotation so you know the guilds and guilds of Ravnica and stuff will be swapping down and there will be huge changes to welcome the Zendika rising you know I kind of hope to see Thorin again by the way he's my you know iconic planeswalker <coughs> But so far, I'm not seeing him. It's more like Jace, I believe. Nisa, Jace, and one more. I'm gonna forget who who that is. So yeah, okay. We'll, we'll be getting a new casual, even and even a rank Q B01 that only allows cut from Throne of Eldraine onward. It's called Standard 2021. Okay, that's something new. So it's sort of like get us ready to for the new standard environment, right? For this um, thing to be kicked in, <coughs> we need new uh, rewards return. So, like basically, there will be like the new pets and the, st you know, the what do you, what do you, you usually will buy the stuff, right? They give us avatar and stuff. Bro, get some minor updates with Rune Halo being added to the band list and the Fairy Time Reveler. <laughs> Um, okay, this is an interesting one. Changes to the matchmaking algorithm so that players with powerful competitive commanders such as Nico, Bolas, Dragon God, or Nave, Misery, Bond are faced against each other. That's kind of funny, actually. It's like, 
That means um yeah, it, it's kind of funny for those that play. I mean, Nith means a reborn five color deck. Um, make no mistake, it's a really powerful deck. So to go against Nico Bolus, it's kind of cool. Like two dragons, legendary dragons, you know, fighting against one another. I think that's nice. But it just sounds kind of funny, you know. It's like this two, <laughs> like whenever you play this, you know your opponent's gonna be a tough one. So it's kind of nice, right? All right, um, let's scroll down. Among Cat Remastered. Okay, man, I think I need to clear my throat here and there's like, there's some... <coughs> you know... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. There's like phlegm and stuff, it's so uncomfortable. Maybe I need to get some herbal tea and stuff to clear the throat. Okay, what else? Okay, so... For Amon Cat, I'm not sure if that's like I'm pretty sure that's like those Egyptian god, you know, because Amon Cat is like an um, Egyptian kind of theme. If for those that do not know about this set, and you know the Okatra, um, it's not the same Okatra as the one we are having right now. It's like the older form of Okatra, you know. There's quite a few form, so it's kind of cool actually. There's not sure if the Scarab God is in there. Maybe it is, and it's kind of nice. And the Locust God, I believe. So there'll be this cards, this cards, pro focus and create an interesting repeatable limited player experience, provide support for historic and eventually Pioneer constructed. Th that means, you know, Pioneer is gonna come to MTG Arena sooner or later, you know, followed by probably all the other formats, maybe. So, but it might take some time, but you know, when it comes, I mean, <coughs> it's better to join and understa understand sorry, the game now. I think, rather than you comes in as a new player later, and then you have so many formats to choose from. But of course, I believe they they create like guides and you know more detailed guides for different format eventually. So they have more work to do for the MTGA stuff, of course. But you know, for a new player diving into s and then getting exposed to so many formats for the first time, you definitely feel quite lost. So definitely, some guidance will be needed for sure. So okay, let us read the mechanics. There'll be like remember the exert and embalm and eternalize. So you, as you can see from the image here, the first image, I believe that's like the you know the updated updated interface. You know, it looks kind of different, right, compared to the old one. I'm not really a fan of the old old one, although it's okay. But you know, sometimes the max and skip button could ca get kind of laggy or something. It's like when you press the skip, it's not really reacting. I'm not sure if it's my mouse problem or it's the interface problem, but you know, just pointing it out. And you know, there's this twin and stang thing. I'm not sure if you could see, right? This two. I'm not sure what that is. You know, it's kind of interesting. Kind of look forward to that as well. So you know there'll be some new ability, um, like ability and effects to showcase the the new you know embalm and eternalize and exert ability, right? There'll be new animations. I mean, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Where to find the previews? Well, you could just head to MTGA Zone then. Okay, this is interesting. This is the thing that will concern us. The Among Cat Remastered event, the premiere draft, and see you. So most likely, as you know, I'll be recording you know all these events at least at least once so you know we could i could start preparing on you know this date so yeah so by the way i'm not really like recording too much jump i'm not like I, I don't think i'll be recording much um jump start event anymore <coughs> unless i really manage to find like the planeswalker pack the two remaining ones, like Liliana and Bathory, if not, I probably would would not be playing anymore because I've already got three and I'm kind of satisfied with that, so yep. Okay, rotation around the corner, so these are the current standard. The next standard to come will be like, you know, the updated one will be starting from Throne of Eldraine, Terrors Beyond Death, Ikoria, M21, then Decorizing and you know, three more set coming, for, um, including a core set 2022. So, you know, um, for a standard, it's kind of fast paced, you know, if you are if you are in this game, you, you sort of feel like standard is rotating very quickly. 
you know, it's like an ever shifting format, and it's sort of like you need to keep up with times. There's a lot of cuts pumping in and in and in, and it's like wow, it's really it might get out of hand and too much for some people to handle. You know, even I feel that way. So while these older sets will continue to find a happy home in historic, of course. <laughs> For those of you looking forward to the year ahead, why wait? Standard 2021, the one, the event that's mentioned. So you know, it's like an introduction to the new standard environment, and then we have the renewer. Man, look at that mythic qualifier thing. Almost I could have got it right. Almost. Oh well. So that this renewer, the egg is back. Players who have logged in prior to September will receive a special renewal gift for them once rotation happens to have them kickstart. I'm, I'm not really sure about the egg stuff. You know, I didn't do my homework for the egg. I think I of, I've always have that egg. I'm not sure. Kind of, you know, I need to check again. So anyway, update a new player's deck. So yeah, because of the rotation, so for new players in the arena, you know, there's like tutorial decks and stuff and beginner decks for you to play with i think there'll be some changes to those decks so yeah it's kind of nice i guess for new players up uh, until next time jumpstart yeah so we'll be kissing farewell to the jumpstart event okay now uh, i'm not sure if you guys could hear the vehicles noises sometimes kind of noisy i hate that you know um okay anyway jumpstart will be um signing off on August 16, so you know, stand, grab the chance or you can to get hold of the premium lens and planeswalker pack. So you know, I've got enough. So you know, it's pretty nice. I would say this jump jump start event, but I've played too much of it. So yep. <laughs> For bro, there'll be some update like you know the rune halo ban and stuff. The Gideon intervention will be banned. Hmm, interesting. You know, bra. I've I've got some bra boots. Um, you know, especially the like Teferi, Liliana, Wake of the Day, Garuk, which is coming up tonight. I'm not sure. You know, when I update this video, which day will it be? But you know, um, on the today is the seventh of August. So yep, today will be my Garuk. I will be showcasing some Garuk video. So do check it out if you can. I probably would have already did when you see this video, right? I think. Oh, well, okay. Deck builder quality of life. So it's like um, some update to the, you know, the search filter thing. So you could more easily search, like some shortcut key to search out the cards you want, the group of cards you want, or you know, etc. So yeah, <coughs> clean up step. Return to the world of Bowler's Reign with Armon Cat Remastered the first, but certainly not the last. MTG Arena only remastered set. So it's cool. I think it's not really it's like a mix because um it's called remastered, I think, because it's a mix of hours of devastation and the Armon Cat. So not all every single card from both sides will be added. I think it's like specifically specifically some maybe. So we can look forward to that. So yeah, I think that is all for our uh, you know slight update about the Armon Cat. Um, you know that's gonna hit MTG Arena soon. So keep a lookout for that. And my channel will be you know updating with the you know premiere draft and seal event. Most likely I'll be, I will be. So you know. Hope you guys will like that so yep yeah. all right guys that is all for today's mtg arena news update you know i'm still kind of new to this kind of stuff so hopefully i could uh, improve and do better next time you know for the future series if there is any so yep yeah. all right thanks for watching and hope you have a good day and i'll see you on my next video bye bye